نقود Approved na approved na hapon po sa inyong lahat mga kaibigan. Ako si Elaine Fuentes at inaanyahan ko po kayong samahan nyo kaming muli at tulungan kaming tulungan kayo. Sama-sama nating tuklasin ang mga pamamaraan tungo sa mga palatuntunan, proyekto o programa ng gobyerno, maging ng mga pribadong ahensya at organisasyon na sadyang ginawa po naman para sa ating kapanginabangan. Ibahagi niyo reaksyon at sesyon sa ating email at fanpage na nakaflash ngayon sa inyong mga screen. Makilaho ka na kaibigan dahil ito'y programang para sa iyo. Dito walang alinlangan, dito ituturo namin ang mga pamamaraan. Ito ang approve. Gawin natin to. Art for all o art para sa lahat. Ang arte o ang art ay hindi lamang para doon sa mga nakagagaang sa buhay o doon sa mga tinatawag nating edukado o learned. Kundi ito ay para sa lahat because there is art everywhere. Kailangan lang natin matutunan kung paano ito i-appreciate at yung mga mediums with which to enable us to do that. Yan ang ating kwentuhan ngayong hapon. Huwag kayong aalis. Dito po lamang sa Approve. na malikhain at matatalino ang mga Pilipino. Sa katunayan, maraming Pilipino ang naging tanyag sa larangan ng sining. Di lamang sa Pilipinas, maging sa iba't ibang panig ng mundo. Ang Metropolitan Museum of Manila o MET ay isa lamang sa mga museo na matatagpuan sa kamay nilaan. Ito ay naitatag noong 1976 at mga orihinal na likhang sining ang pinapakita nito mula sa iba't ibang bansa. Magmula noong 1993, ang MET ay nagbibigay serbisyo sa pamamagitan ng pag-e-exhibit at pag-aasis ng iba't ibang exhibition ng mga likhang Pilipino. Sinusuportahan nito at tinutulungan na maipakilala at maitampok ang mga gawa nito. Magmula noong 1993, ang MET ay nagbibigay serbisyo sa pamamagitan ng pag-e-exhibit at pag-aasis ng iba't ibang exhibition ng mga likhang Pilipino. Sinusuportahan nito at tinutulungan na maipakilala at maitampok ang mga gawa nito. Sa kasalukuyan, patuloy rin ang pag-exhibit mula sa sarili nitong collection of contemporary art and ecclesiastic art, master paintings, decorative art, pre-Hispanic gold and pottery mula sa Bangko Sentral ng Pilipinas. Ang iba't ibang likhang sining mula sa private and institution leaders ay inyayos din. Bagamat di lahat ay naipakalat o nahanap, mayroon pa rin nito sa mga publication ng MET. Naipakalap din ang trainings para sa teachers art classes para naman sa mga bata, workshops, career talks, at mga programa na hanggang sa ngayon ay isinasagawa para sa paglinang ng sining sa bawat Pilipino. Ako si Jean Kipper Lustica at approve sa amin ang museo na ito. And welcome back sa ating palatuntunan sa ating muntintahan na approve at uh, ang ating kasama ngayon, uh, I'm very pleased to introduce Ms. Tina Colaico, President and Board of Trustee ng Metropolitan Museum of Manila. Ma'am, magandang hapon. Magandang hapon, Elaine. Kamusta po kayo? Mabuti. Okay. The Metropolitan Museum of Manila. Could you tell me a little bit of uh, how and when it was established and what was the purpose? The The Metropolitan Museum of Manila was first established in 1976 mm -hmm. as a museum that would show foreign exhibitions. Okay. And then in the 1980s, they began to show uh, Filipino exhibitions mm -hmm. in, <clears throat> during which they began a bilingual approach. Okay. You know, in explaining the exhibitions and making people understand what uh, uh, the shows were all about. Okay. No? And uh, so we had the... Uh, And then we we also adopted a philosophy of art for all. Okay, and this is still I love essentially that. yes essentially what uh, we always go <coughs> with whenever we 
you know, especially this year when we are moving into a new direction, mm -hmm. focusing on Philippine contemporary art. Okay. Uh, kanina, in a conversation with a good friend of mine, ano, uh, we were discussing the very, the very uh, subject na uh, you mentioned a while ago, yung uh, art para sa lahat. Kasi merong misconception na um, ang tawag dito, ang art ay para lamang doon sa mga nakakaalam at uh, doon sa mga na, may, may edukasyon, doon sa mga pwedeng bumili ng art. And this is not true at all, is it? No, it is not. <laughs> definitely not. No. And we would like to be able to engage the whole, you know, all sectors of the public, young and old, people from different disciplines and from all walks of life. Mm -hmm. no, and this is exactly what we want to draw when uh, with our programs we have educational modules mm -hmm. we have um, book launches okay. and uh, we have permanent exhibitions mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we have the gold exhibition uh, which belongs the collection of which belongs to the banco central mm -hmm. Filipinas. so yung ating uh, uh, tawag dito yung collection of, of, of coins uh, from long ago that's okay. right very very valuable pre-colonial pre -colonial. Pre -colonial. Yes. Okay. and then um, in a few days, we will be launching another permanent exhibition on Philippine contemporary art. Wow. Okay, what this is, is it's a survey uh -huh. of where Philippine contemporary art took off uh -huh. from the 1920s up to the present so that we see emerging art forms, emerging expressions. Right. Pero mo tayong pag-uusapan kasi meron din binanggit before na merong programa kayo na although you still uh, did exhibition, foreign exhibits, no, tinapatan natin ito ng the same era ng Philippine art din naman. Marami pa tayong pagkukwento. Okay, aalis, magbabalik po ang approve. Maraming salamat po sa approve sa pag-feature nyo dito sa Zubik Safari at ang pagbisita nyo at maipakita namin na hindi lang siya pang-visit ng visitors kundi marami din po kayong programa in terms of education and more of outreach program and the foundations po dito. So maraming maraming salamat po at uh, bisitahin nyo po ang Zubik Safari at two thumbs up po ako. Approve na approve po. Maraming salamat. In behalf of the Philippine Olympic Committee Sports Science Team, nagpapasalamat kami sa approve at nabigyan kami ng pagkakataon na ipahayag ang mga serbisyo at programa ng Philippine Olympic Committee. And we are back. Of course, we have with us Ms. Tina Colaico, President and Board of Trustee of Metropolitan Museum of Manila. Ma'am, welcome back. Thank you. Okay. Uh, kanina, bago tayo nag-break, I was talking about yung ginawa ninyong strategy rin na although nag-exhibit nag pa rin kayo ng foreign art, may katapat yon na uh, the art in existence na katapat ng foreign art na yon. That's right. How did that program go? We are going to implement, we have been implementing uh, the exhibitions of uh, foreign artists and foreign collections and we intend to complete to continue that mm -hmm. and uh, engage in a conversation and discussion with uh, regional and international counterparts. Okay. At itong museum natin ay pwede natin sabihin uh, world class, ano ma'am? Kasi maganda yung mga naka-exhibit, the quality of the exhibit materials itself. That is what we want to be able to. <laughs> we want to meet that challenge because we, we feel that uh, there is a need for a for a world-class museum mm -hmm. that will focus on Philippine contemporary art. Okay, now let's uh, let's get away a little bit from the the material aspect of the exhibit uh -huh. and let's go deeper into the art appreciation. Okay. Kasi dito sa atin, uh, being a third world country, parang hindi necessity yung art appreciation. Mm -hmm. Parang maraming nauuna bago yung art. Nahan dyan, of course, ang pagkain, nahan uh -huh. yung... Uh, pambayad sa bahay, etc. Naiiwan lagi, kumbaga laging last choice ang art. Why is art important to the Philippines as a nation? Okay. 
First of all, I'd like to say that there is a new consciousness okay. now for art and culture. Which is good. Yes, very good. <laughs> there has never been a more vibrant time for, 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 for the art scene and for the art community. You know? And we see that because everyone is aware now of the recognition that many Filipino artists are getting, are getting in the international stage. Right. You know? Like um, in the recent art stage in Singapore. Mm -hmm. You know, the art, Filipino artists were really like the, the favorite. Really? Yes. Wow. And uh, we see them as being, uh, being recognized now and being invited mm -hmm. to many important international, prestigious international events. Okay. No? Kung ang ba, ma'am? Because, you know, kapag ka, uh, textbook ang pinag-usapan natin, oh. ano, hindi pa masyadong marami dyan ng mga... Uh, Filipino artists na mababasa natin usually when mm. when we are studying mas marami yatang reference than sa foreign artists when when we talk about established uh, mediums no pero ngayon meron ng mga bagong bata ba ito necessarily to mga artists mga bata mga yan bata. kaya magbabago yun <laughs> yung sinasabi mo na yung perspective will right. always be from you know from the western right. western artists that we read about mm -hmm. but that is slowly changing there okay. is there is now a a very big awareness of for Southeast Asian art. Okay. Tapos nasasama na tayo ngayon doon. Sa so international, papunta na yes, tayo doon? Yes, okay. yes. Now, uh, dati rin kasi pagka museum, di ba, naghihikab yung mga kabataan natin. Ayoko magpunta dyan. Pag sinabing field trip, ayoko dyan. Sa mall na lang tayo magpunta o sa mga TV shows. Pero ngayon, like you said, merong bagong appreciation sa art mm -hmm. at saka sa mga art exhibits. Um, how do you see the youth uh, benefiting from uh, museums like the Metropolitan Museum. Pero alam mo, totoo yun, ha, Elaine? <laughs> <laughs> Na, nagmamadali sila yeah. para magpunta doon sa aquarium, para right. magpunta doon sa Mga mall. Mga parks, yeah. No? So, I think meron talagang challenge for museums right. no? to be able to engage mm -hmm. these students. Mm -hmm. And we are looking at using technology mm -hmm. so that the understanding of art you know, and the learning of art right. would be more interactive, it would be more fun, right. it would be enjoyable, uh -huh. and uh, we'd like to be able to meet the challenge sooner or later. Right. Siguro, ano kasi ngayon, merong, ano eh, merong uh, terminology ginagamit ang mga kabataan katulad namin, uh, nabiro lang. Uh, Totoo yun. <laughs> <laughs> yung ginagamit nila na, uh, yung connect. Okay. Kailangan makakonect sila. Like for example, sa mga gadgets, connected mm -hmm. sila do sa mga trends. Uh, but art kasi, as you said, presenting art and the appreciation uh -huh. of art may challenge dyan kasi uh, merong education in a deeper level before you can actually appreciate art. Is that true? Ganun, papunta na rin yun doon. <laughs> yeah. no? But I think it is important, especially right. for for many young audiences so that, that you catch their attention. Right, right. Uh, you catch their attention. And, and then, then you hold it long enough. It's also the manner that right. you deliver. You deliver the, your message, you right. deliver the content mm. of the exhibitions. No? Mm -hmm. So we are also going to strengthen our, our presence online. Yeah. Uh, Oy, <laughs> yung mga ano, yung mga social networking. Exactly. Uh -oh. right. And then we, we need the whole art, com art community to support right. you know, this buzz in promoting art and culture and right. so that they would come and, and, and enjoy right. you know, the museum more. Right. Alam mo, Ma'am Tina, I'm looking at the clock and it's so unfortunate okay. that we don't have a whole lot of time. Pero itong promise ko sa inyo mga kaibigan because I suppose katulad ko, parang bitin yung ating uh, uh, pagka-feature sa Metropolitan Museum mm -hmm. of Manila. So what we will do and what I will promise you is that I am going to personally go to uh, the Metropolitan uh, Museum <laughs> at uh, maglalakad tayo doon, sasamahan tayo ni Miss Tina so that we can introduce to you right. how it's like there. And I will personally experience it and tell you as uh, as uh, efficiently as I could the whole experience. Pwede ba yun, ma'am? Pwede, pwede. Iniimbitahan ko kayong lahat <laughs> okay. para magpunta sa Metropolitan Museum at sa bago namin mga exhibitions. Ayan. Pangako yan sa iyo, mga kaibigan, ang approve. At ma'am, I'm going to give you about a minute para maimbitahan ang ating mga kababayan na mm -hmm. uh, malay nyo, i-announce natin na pupunta doon ang approve. Samahan nyo kami at sama-sama natin i-enjoy ang uh, exhibit doon sa Metropolitan Museum of Manila. Ma'am, nasa inyo po ang chance to invite them. 
every Wednesday, it's free for everyone <laughs> to come to the I museum. I like that, yes. <laughs> and uh, it's, the museum is for everyone. Uh -huh. So come and visit, and uh, we, we hope that we will be able to give you a more experiential yeah. uh, visit. When you come, and I will be there to welcome all of you. Okay, ma'am. Ah, uh, ischedule na niya mga kaibigan at uh, abangan yun po sa ating fan page, no? At yung sa ating announcement when we are going to do that para makasama namin kayo at uh, ang sinasabi ko noon makatalamitam namin kayo. Maraming maraming salamat, ma'am Tina. Thank you, Elaine. And I will see you again very soon. Will okay. do. All right. Si Ms. Tina Colaico, I'm President and the Board of Trustees ng Metropolitan Museum of Manila. Magbabalik kang approve. Thank you, man. Maraming salamat po sa approve sa pag-feature nyo dito sa Zubik Safari at ang pagbisita nyo at maipakita namin na hindi lang siya pang-visit ng visitors kundi marami din po ang programa in terms of education and more of outreach program and the foundations po dito. So maraming maraming salamat po at uh, bisitahin nyo po ang Zubik Safari at two thumbs up po ako. Approve na approve po. Maraming salamat. In behalf of the Philippine Olympic Committee Sports Science Team, nagpapasalamat kami sa approve at nabigyan kami ng pagkakataon na ipahayag ang mga serbisyo at programa ng Philippine Olympic Committee. And we are back. Of course, we have with us Ms. Tina Colaico, ang President and Board of Trustee of Metropolitan Museum of Manila. Ma'am, welcome back. Thank you. Okay. Uh, kanina, bago tayo nag-break, I was talking about yung ginawa ninyong strategy rin na although nag-exhibit nag pa rin kayo ng foreign art, may katapat yon na uh, the art in existence nakatapat ng foreign art na yon. That's right. How did that program go? We are going to implement, we have been implementing uh, the exhibitions of uh, foreign artists and foreign collections and we intend to complete to continue that mm -hmm. and uh, engage in a conversation and discussion with uh, regional and international counterparts. Okay. At itong museum natin ay pwede natin sabihin uh, world class, ano ma'am? Kasi maganda yung mga naka-exhibit, the quality of the exhibit materials itself. That is what we want to be <laughs> able to, we want to meet that challenge because we, we feel that uh, there is a need for mm -hmm. a for a world-class museum mm -hmm. that will focus on Philippine contemporary art. Okay, now let's uh, let's get away a little bit from the the material aspect of the exhibit uh -huh. and let's go deeper into the art appreciation. Okay. Kasi dito sa atin, uh, being a third world country, parang hindi necessity yung art appreciation. Mm -hmm. Parang maraming nauuna bago yung art. Nahan dyan, of course, ang pagkain, nahan uh -huh. yung... Um, pambayad sa bahay, etc. Naiiwan lagi, kumbaga laging last choice ang art. Uh -huh. Why is art important to the Philippines as a nation? Okay. First of all, I'd like to say that there is a new consciousness okay. now for art and culture. Which is good. Yes, very good. <laughs> there has never been a more vibrant time for 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 the art scene and for the art community you know? and we see that because everyone is aware now of the recognition that many Filipino artists are getting abroad are getting in the international stage right. you know? like um, in the recent art stage in Singapore mm -hmm. you know the art Filipino artists were really like the, the favorite really yes wow and uh, we see them as being uh, being recognized now and being invited mm -hmm. to many important international prestigious international events okay. no ko ang pag-uusapan ba ma'am because 
you know, kapag ka, uh, textbook ang pinag-usapan natin, uh-huh. ano, hindi pa masyadong marami dyan ng mga uh, Filipino artists na mababasa natin. Usually, when mm-hmm. when we are studying, mas marami yatang reference dun sa foreign artists when, when we talk about established uh, mediums. no. Pero ngayon, meron ng mga bagong Bata ba ito necessarily to mga artists? Mga bata yan. Mga bata. Kaya magbabago yun. <laughs> yung sinasabi mo na yung perspective, it right. always be from, you know, from the Western right. Western artists that we read about. Mm-hmm. But that is slowly changing. There, okay. is, there is now a a very big awareness of for Southeast Asian art. Okay. Tapos nasasama na tayo ngayon doon. Sa so international, papunta na yes, tayo doon? Yes, okay. yes. Now, uh, dati rin kasi pagka museum, di ba, naghihikab yung mga kabataan natin. Ayoko magpunta dyan. Pag sinabing field trip, ayoko dyan. Sa mall na lang tayo magpunta o sa mga TV shows. Pero ngayon, like you said, merong bagong appreciation sa art mm-hmm. at saka sa mga art exhibits. Um, how do you see the youth uh, benefiting from uh, museums like the Metropolitan Museum. Pero alam mo, totoo yun, ha, Elaine? <laughs> <laughs> Na, nagmamadali sila yeah. para magpunta doon sa aquarium, para right. magpunta doon sa Mga mall. Mga parks, yeah. No? So, I think meron talagang challenge for museums right. no? to be able to engage mm-hmm. these students. Mm-hmm. And we are looking at using technology mm-hmm. so that the understanding of art you know, and the learning of art right. would be more interactive, it would be more fun, right. it would be enjoyable, uh-huh. and uh, we'd like to be able to meet the challenge sooner or later. Right. Siguro, ano kasi ngayon, merong, ano eh, merong uh, terminology ginagamit ang mga kabataan katulad namin, uh-huh. nabiro lang. Uh, Totoo yun. <laughs> <laughs> yung ginagamit nila na, uh, yung connect. Okay. Kailangan makakonek sila. Like for example, sa mga gadgets, connected mm-hmm. sila do sa mga trends. Uh, but art kasi, as you said, presenting art and the appreciation mm-hmm. of art may challenge dyan kasi uh, merong education in a deeper level before you can actually appreciate art. Is that true? Ganun, papunta na rin yun doon. <laughs> yeah. no? But I think it is important, especially right. for for many young audiences so that, that you catch their attention. Right, right. Uh, you catch their attention. And, and then, then you hold it long enough. It's also the manner that right. you deliver. You deliver the, your message, you right. deliver the content mm-hmm. of the exhibitions. No? Mm-hmm. So we are also going to strengthen our, our presence online. Yeah. Na, Oy, <laughs> yung mga ano, yung mga social networking. Exactly. Ano yan, right? Oh, right. and then we we need the whole our com- our community to support, right. you know, this buzz in promoting art and culture, and right. so that they would come and 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 enjoy, right. you know, the museum more. Right. Alam mo, Ma'am Tina, I'm looking at the clock, and it's so unfortunate okay. that we don't have a whole lot of time. Pero, etong promise ko sa inyo mga kaibigan, because I suppose, katulad ko, parang bitin yung ating uh, uh, pagka-feature sa Metropolitan Museum mm-hmm. of Manila. So, what we will do, and what I will promise you, is that I am going to personally go to uh, the Metropolitan uh, Museum, <laughs> at uh, maglalakad tayo doon, sasamahan tayo ni Miss Tina, so that we can introduce to you Right. how it's like there and I will personally experience it and tell you as uh, as uh, efficiently as I could the whole experience. Pwede ba yun, ma'am? Pwede, pwede. Iniimbitahan ko kayong lahat <laughs> okay. para magpunta sa Metropolitan Museum at sa bago namin mga exhibitions. Ayan. Pangako yan sa iyo, mga kaibigan, ang approve. At ma'am, I'm going to give you about a minute para maimbitahan ang ating mga kababayan na mm-hmm. uh, malay nyo, i-announce natin na pupunta doon ng approve. Samahan nyo kami at sama-sama natin i-enjoy ang uh, exhibit doon sa Metropolitan Museum of Manila. Ma'am, na sa inyo po ang chance to invite them. Every Wednesday, it's free for everyone to come to the <laughs> I like museum. I yes. <laughs> and uh, it's, the museum is for everyone. Uh-huh. So come and visit and uh, we, we hope that we will be able to give you a more experiential yeah. uh, visit. Right, right. When you come, and I will be there to welcome all of you. Okay, ma'am. Ah, uh, ischedule nandi yung mga kaibigan at uh, abangan yung po sa ating fan page, no? At yung sa ating announcement when we are going to do that para makasama namin kayo at uh, ang sinasabi ko noon makatalamitam namin kayo. Maraming maraming salamat, ma'am Thank Tina. You. Thank you, Elaine. And I will see you again very soon. Will okay. do.
All right. Si Ms. Tina Colaico, ang President and the Board of Trustee ng Metropolitan Museum of Manila. Magpapamali ka ang approved. Thank you, ma'am. Para sa lahat, yan po ang isi itinutulak at isinusulong ng Metropolitan Museum of Manila. Like I promised you, babalikan natin ang museum na yan. At with me, we will uh, trek through the treasures na naka-exhibit doon lahat. At uh, kanina, natuwa ko doon sa sinabi ni Ma'am Tina. Libre daw every Wednesday, kaya punta na kayo pag Wednesday, okay? Doon na pumunta ang buong pamilya kaysa sa mga malls na magkakagastos lang kayo. Approved na approved na 30 minutes kasama kayo mga kaibigan. Tandaan nito yung programang para sa inyo. Martes at Webes, tuwing alas 5.30 ng hapon, kami po ay inyong makakasama at your service. Ako po si Elaine Fuentes at ito ang approved. Gawin natin to.